Hi guys, my name is Caesar Creates, and welcome back to my channel! Firstly, I would like to thank you for all the views, all the comments and all the likes under my last video. It means the world to me because it was my first ever YouTube video and I was kind of nervous, but you guys seemed to like it. So thank you, thank you, thank you for all the support and I'll promise I will keep going. In case you haven't seen that video, I will put the link on the screen as well as in the description to this video. Thank you so much again and now let's start talking about today's video. Today we are building a main plaza of our zoo as well as the gift shop. In the middle of this plaza I wanted to build a fountain, just a typical you know, classic fountain uh, surrounded by uh, flower beds, just something very classic and very simple, but uh, you know, many zoos like have them uh, on their plazas and I think it's nice things to add uh, to your zoo. As you could briefly see, I made some changes to the parking lot and the entrance. Uh, you will be able to see all of those changes in the cinematic shots at, by the end of this video. I added a lot of plants and lights to make it more realistic, you know, every parking lot needs some lights. I did it off the camera, not to bore you guys, this was just, you know, adding plants, nothing spectacular. As you could see, I created and added those stakes for young trees. I think it's a nice addition if you want to have, you know, more, again, realistic zoo, like uh, we are building temperate, temperate biome, there could be some strong winds, uh, so in real life you would add them, like to protect younger trees from breaking. Here you can see me adding those flowers around the fountain in the middle of the plaza, uh, I didn't want to go too over the top with the flowers, that's why I added them uh, in similar color, only three types, and I think it looks, looks very generic and yeah, just something you would see uh, around the fountain like this. What is quite funny is that this is actually my first attempt to build a fountain in this game. Uh, I never did it because I was building more like, you know, jungle zoo or zoos in the desert and stuff. And, but I think this zoo, like, it requires a, a fountain as a, you know, like, typical uh, city zoo. They always have a fountain somewhere. In a second I will be creating a plate uh, with the name of our zoo I wanted to incorporate in this fountain uh, and I used uh, the Rices font from Steam Workshop and as I said in my last video every time I will use something from the workshop I will uh, link those uh, creations down in the description I really want to, you know, give big shout out to those people who made them because they're so amazing, like, you know, creating those phones, as I said last time, uh, you know, I wouldn't have the patience to do it and thank you, thank you to those people uh, who made them. Uh, yeah, I really like this font and I think it looks very, very generic. Someone might ask why I'm not uh, adding any animals yet to the zoo. Uh, yeah, as I said guys, we are going for uh, a realistic zoo. Uh, so yeah, every time you enter the zoo or exit the zoo, there will be uh, a gift shop, a restaurant, you know, something for you to spend your money on. And I want to develop the zoo step by step. Uh, so we are starting from, starting from the entrance and after that there will be this big uh, main plaza. So yeah, automatically I wanted to finish that first and then focus on you know nice stuff like animals, habitats and those animal houses and so on. Don't forget that gift shops, restaurants, vending machines they're uh, additional income for the zoo. So besides money from ticket sales and donations, 
they have some additional money, you know, to spend or staff wages or to expand or to, you know, uh, fix some issues. Yeah, so it's always, they will also always have those restaurants and uh, gift shops, not only for, you know, to make their guests happy, but also just to earn some additional income. And as I said in the last video, I would like to make this zoo, you know, like an old zoo that has those new parts that were renovated, that were built recently, because it is a zoo that is very popular, it has a lot of money, so it can, uh, you know, build new stuff. And that's why we are star starting the main plaza with the gift shop that is quite new, you know, renovated, has this modern feel to it. I really like the design of the, you know, modern part of the our gate, so I wanted to go for something similar, uh, you know, to use this uh, triangular uh, pattern as well as uh, concrete and uh, wood. As you could remember, our entrance was inspired by one of the entrances to the Berlin Zoo. And yeah, I found that they have this really nice uh, gift shop, which is uh, near to it, to the entrance, and has really, like really similar vibe. So I got quite inspired and I built something uh, similar to this, uh, something Maybe, again, it's not a recreation, but more inspired by. Uh, and yeah, I will put the link in the description uh, so you could see it yourself, how it looks, uh, what I was inspired by, what I used from this build. And in the last video, I also promised you a fun fact every time we'll be adding a new uh, animal to the zoo. Uh, I also, you know, described how I am interested in animals, that's why I, I know a lot of facts. But again, this video doesn't include any animals, so uh, I decided to give you a fun fact about the Berlin Zoo, because uh, that's the second building that is inspired by the zoo uh, in my series. Berlin Zoo is the oldest and the best known zoo in Germany. It was opened in 1844 and uh, it has about 1400 species of animals which makes it one of the most uh, one of the biggest uh, collections of species in, of animals in the world it houses giant pandas which is you know quite unusual uh, here in europe it also houses uh, the oldest gorilla in the world uh, she's a female and she's 63 it was really badly damaged during the Second World War. Only 91 animals survived uh, the war. Since then it was obviously rebuilt it. And I really really recommend to go and see it if you have a chance. It is one of the best uh, zoos in Europe and uh, it's really interesting. It has a lot of species of animals. So if you are a zoo and animal lover just as I am, you will most certainly enjoy it. In a second I will start to create those shop displays. Uh, I wish the glass uh, in the game was more like see-through because you could see better what is uh, on those displays. I really wanted to uh, show off those plushies that I found on uh, the workshop. They are so 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 amazing. Uh, they were created by the keyboard keeper. Uh, yeah, and they're on the workshop. Go and uh, yeah support him. Go and download it because they're so amazing. They, uh, you know, this is something we miss in the game, and he did it perfectly, or she. I don't know. Sorry. And this is something you would have in the, you know, real life gift shop at zoo. The plushies of the animals you just seen for kids to buy for, you know, not kids, but parents to buy for the kids and take home just to have a nice souvenir from the, uh, from the zoo. I'm not the best when it comes to building interiors in this game, but I really like how this building has turned out. 
uh, it has this, you know, modern vibe with uh, this rustic uh, elements like those trees you will see. I really wish we would have more of those uh, pieces that could actually be sold in the gift shop. Uh, you know, I put there a lot of vases, a lot of uh, baskets and those, you know, African shields and so on. Just to put something in there. Uh, I think, okay, you can have them in the gift shop, but they would most probably be, be very expensive. Uh, in those gift shops you will have more like, you know, toys, books, uh, plushies and so on. That's why I spam those, those plushies uh, there. Uh, and I also created some bookshelves uh, with, you know, very easy books. Uh, because it's a nice uh, thing to have them. Because I would love uh, for the zoos to sell, like, books or audiobooks about the conservation of the animals about you know endangered species and what we could, would what can we do to help them so the people buy it themselves and you know educate themselves a bit because you know when you see those cute little pandas or fluffy uh, snow leopards and you see the information next to their habitat that they are really engaged and they are so little of them left uh, on the planet Earth, uh, you start to, yeah, no, feel sorry for them, and maybe you want to uh, help them somehow. And that's why, that's where you can find like the guide uh, of uh, how you can actually help them. You know, so it would be quite nice to sell something like this in the gift shop. And now let's talk about something else, something what was. Uh, presented to us yesterday. Yeah guys, we finally, finally have the aquatic park announced by the Frontier yesterday and it, boy, it looks so amazing. I love that the animals are able to dive now, like all those, you know, uh, underwater viewing uh, panels and areas that I created uh, in the past, they make sense now because animals actually dive and guests will be able to see them underwater, not only floating underwater. But also we have seals and penguins and otters, those animals were so like... Uh, requested by the community of Planet Zoo and yeah it's so 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 uh, so exciting because you know we can b start to build different kinds of habitat uh, including, uh, including a lot of water in them and also uh, penguins and uh, you know seals or sea lions they are those uh, iconic zoo animals you would see them in almost every zoo so it's so nice to have them just you know something we missed and i am so happy that they added it and for sure we'll be adding them to this zoo so uh stay tuned i will try to make the uh next episode or the episode with adding an animal from this aquatic park uh next week after it launches I'm thinking of adding the seals uh, because, uh, you know, uh, in New York, in Central Park Zoo, uh, you have the sea lions uh, very close to the entrance, so it somehow makes sense. I already have like the idea for their habitat, which I will try to create. Uh, yeah, so stay tuned and watch the future episodes. Uh, yeah, probably next week we'll have something. On the new animals. I am also very excited about the new scenery pieces, new construction pieces. Uh, as a creative person I will like think right away uh, how to like you know use them, how to incorporate them in our city zoo. I am also very very happy about the new foliage. You could see in the trailer there were a lot of new plants in there. Uh, if you haven't watched it, go and do it uh, right away because because it reveals quite a lot of stuff. So uh, yeah, it's a must watch for the fun of the Planet Zoo, I think. But overall, I am most excited about penguins and seals. 
And what are you guys excited about? Comment down below, uh, yeah, what animals you are most excited about, or new foliage, or new construction pieces. Please comment down below and let's talk about the new aquatic pack. Yay, so excited! And now guys, I will leave you for a couple of minutes. Please enjoy this speed build. I will see you by the end to describe what I have uh, built there, how I, you know, created this gift shop. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. If you like this video so far, give it a thumbs up. Uh, you know, ring the bell every time uh, you want to be notified I upload the new video. Comment down below if you like my uh, new creation. And yeah, I will see you in a few minutes to talk about our final creation.
Hello again guys! As you could see I already created the interior of the gift shop. I really enjoyed building all those shelves and stuff. It was a new thing for me. I used a lot of uh, kinds of uh, wood and uh, concrete to give this shop uh, like this modern but very cozy feeling. I also added this non-functional cash desk with the computer I found on the workshop. I also created this backstage for uh, for our staff. There's a staff room hidden there as well as some shelves uh, with boxes and stuff. Let's pretend that there are like plushies in those boxes hidden so when they run out of them in the shop this staff member just goes there and takes some more to put on the display. I've built some parts of this building like roof and uh, front facade off camera. Uh, not to bore you guys, not to make this video too long. Uh, I'm sure you will be able to understand how I, exactly I did it. It was just copying some uh, pieces from one place to another. In the end I added some foliage uh, at the front of the shop because you know foliage always makes everything looks better. And yeah, that will be it for today's video. Please stay with me till the end of this video. Uh, there will be some uh, cinematic shots of what we've already built in this zoo. And I will show you some updates from the parking lot, as I said earlier. Uh, I did some additional work, like, you know, putting some more plants and stuff to make it more cozy, make it more real. I also added some things to the entrance and also some things to the gift shop. I did them off uh, camera, so you'll be able to catch it all in the cinematic shots by the end of this video. And again, thank you guys so, so, so much for the support and all the comments and all the views on my last video. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel. I promise more things are coming. Please ring a bell if you want to be notified every time I upload a new video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys!